the archangels. When we talk about the archangels, we talk about Michael and Raphael. Are we close? Are we close to like identifying them? Are, are some of the things that are in our culture like kind of right? Kind? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is um, that we that we put a lot of Christianism yeah. upon them. Um, and um, this is a very old story from the Hefer people uh, that was not even for Catholics. And they took it from, <clears throat> from the Jew people. Um, they, they were, uh, Archangel means uh, the powerful messenger. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. So it's a message of power. That that's archangel. Um, so what they are, um, what they were, what they are really are different attributes of God of the unity. So you have, uh, for example, the light of God. It's an attribute. You can say light of God, mm. but in the ancient Hebrew you would say Ur, light, El, of God. Uriel. Uriel. So um, the, the protector of, uh, of, of God. Michael. So the names, Michael. So the names of the, of, of the archangels, like the medicine of God, Rafa, El, uh, are aspects. They are not people they are not um people with wings <laughs> right um they are attributes or aspects that emerge from the unity and so the medicine of god the light of god the power of god the the protector of god and so so on are all these different concepts that uh show so many attributes of the unity um so these beings are actually creating with their power um, the, the, the frequencies, the messenger, messengers, the frequencies that creates everything. So their sound, their vibration are molding the entire creation. Mm. But it's not that there are people with wings mm -hmm. that, we can, that we call archangels. There are attributes of the creator that you can activate within you. Like I am the medicine, I am the protector, I am the light, I am the path, I am life. I am who said that? Jesus. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. He was trying to embody every one of the names of God. Mm. He was not saying that he was the only one. He was saying that that's the only way you can embody God. When you realize I am light, Uriel, I am the power, Gabriel, and so on. Uh, so um, the archangels are, are not beings from outside. Uh, we are within them. Could they be looked at as both, though, in a, in a certain way? Like they're within us and also... Sometimes we it feels like we can encounter them as separate, but yeah, is that, of course. But is so are they both? They're both within us and outside of us. Fourth too. dimension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> both yes. at the same time. Yeah, exactly. So all of this idea, and I think this is this constant question: like, are the beings that you see in ayahuasca are they with? Are they from you, or are they from somewhere else? And like I've always said, yeah, both. Both. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> like it's a. It's, There's no it's this the wrong or question. That. In the yeah, universe, yeah. it's difficult to say this or that. Right. In the universe is both, but for me right now, it's more this than that. Yeah. Uh, so that, that would be the answer because, because it's impossible. Yeah. When you have the, the entire creation, you, uh, you, you can see that there is no this or, or that. And you can see that the seventh dimension that we didn't mention is, is the enlightenment. But the enlightenment, in the enlightenment, there are beings of darkness too. Samael, for example, Samael is 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 one of the the attributes of God that in this that from the seventh dimension load um, loaded and make 
loaded all the information of the enlightenment to the sixth dimension and was the first attribute of the universe creating by itself uh, in a separate way. That's mm. what we call Satan. Mm. It was Samael. And this being was one of the attributes of, of the divine that was called the most beautiful light or the one that carries the light with him. Lucifer. Lucifer. Lucus Ferus, who takes the light. What happened? That this being was the first architect, the first one that said, I can design something different from what we have done till now. And he created the sixth dimension that projected in the third dimension. So was the one that, that enables the life, basically. So what happened? Every being from the seventh dimension that said, we have to create, follow the path of darkness to create. Mm. But those who arrived to the creation and said, oh, but we were the creators, follow the path of enlightenment to the seventh dimension again. And that idea is like a torus, mm -hmm. is the shape of a torus. But that idea creates the concept that both paths were against each other. And actually one was opening the path for the others. And for the others not to get lost, they create the path again, going back to the center. So um, for the, talking about dimensions, this, even these beings that in religion they call they were the bad ones, it's just one side of the story. So explain, <coughs> explain, the, explain the role of the, the beings of the seventh dimension and then the roles particularly of the being that's called Satan. I don't think I fully understand it he's, because he said basically, and we say he, but it's obviously not a no, person. No, it's, it's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It says basically... I, I know that I can create, like I can create something, but I need to use the darkness to do it. And I need to somehow separate myself from the everything in order to do this. What was, what was going how, on? How the, how the solar system was created. It mm -hmm. was not because a fairy came and they, da, 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 <laughs> <laughs> like this with magic. Uh, it was a big explosion. The sun exploded, like mm -hmm. boom, divided itself and created chaos destruction all around and all the rocks, the parts that remain without light became planets. So they cannot shine anymore. They are not light, but they were part of the light. Mm -hmm. Earth was part of the sun. Yeah, they were energy that turned into matter. Yeah. Waves that turned into particles. Uh -huh. and, yeah. and, and so much energy in the sun shining so much created an explosion that allow the planets to exist. So it is because of that destruction and division that life on Earth exists. Mm. But not only because the sun and its explosion, also because of the gravity of Jupiter. Without Jupiter, life would, wouldn't be possible here because we would have been consumed by asteroids. Right. So it's because of Jupiter that we survive. And... Um, all that system is the one that was created by the darkness because it was destruction, division, and turning matter that was shining into rocks that doesn't shine. Right. Um, and you're just using our galaxy as, a, as an example of the whole universe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and, okay. Yeah, no, okay. so, so um, when I say seventh dimension, imagine that the seventh dimension is like the sun, like this bright being that is completely shining and fully aware of the divinity that it is and that within itself has the power, the light, the life, everything inside. But some part of it says, how can I be all this if I cannot experience all this? Mm. So a part of yourself decides to open your eyes and say, I will leave what I have within. Mm. And that's the explosion. I will get lost so I can find myself. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Creation of the sixth dimension 
So it divides the power, the light, everything in different messages, frequencies that we call archangels. The archangels become the architects of reality, creating awareness, the fifth dimension, awareness of what it is, that everything is eternal and that you can mold eternity into different pieces, which brings us to the third dimension, the pieces of time, past, present, and future, pieces of space, wide, high, depth. Mm -hmm. And all that, the only way to create is by duality, second dimension. So you need polarity in order to move time and space. Because if they don't spin, they don't create life. They need movement, love. So this movement will create that. So second dimension is the movement of polarity, which brings us all to the first dimension, which is, is the unity experiencing itself. Mm -hmm. But the only way to arrive to the third dimension is through the ninth dimension, <laughs> which is God, is the one that is not only in the center, is holding everything and understanding everything. It's like you with your body being fully aware of the work of every one of your organs, of every one of your cells, of how your DNA works, is like if you become fully aware of everything that makes you be who you are. That's the ninth dimension, or God. 